Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream usher, so I focus on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of themselves. 
And, oh, hold on. <laughs> you can't see me, fuck! Fuck! Why? <laughs> oh. Why did this have to happen? I had everything set up. I thought I had everything set up, but I didn't. Okay, is this going to work? Apparently, I forgot to check things on the chat scene for showing my fucking face. <laughs> so, scuff. Oh, oh, hi. Uh, the, the scuff spreads. Uh, but we're getting it fixed. As I move myself. There we go. Let's actually make myself bigger. Scooch. And there we go. That should do it. But yeah. <laughs> We are hanging out with the Nixer clan, specifically it is uh, Macbeth and Delore out at the moment. Let me... Primarily Macbeth and uh, Serenity. Oh, Serenity's up too? Yeah. Okay. that do not know we are working on some art it has been a while since i've worked on this and i need to get back into it so let's not dilly dally let's just dive right in also as a note um the nuke tears are also playing uh some spirit fair you will see it in the little corner there they're actually doing stuff also on twitch so don't be surprised if you hear like them commenting to their community as well. But yeah. Let me turn the music down a little bit. Let me switch the music. Also be warned we are a bit suited. Yes. They are very much suited. Not as suited as they were two hours ago. But Oh just wait. Just you wait. Don't I forget, sometimes when we switch, we get lose some of the hive, and then it comes back later. Oh. Or if we focus, we can see it's over sometime. that everyone's been doing well by the way i am very happy that i got um the bot to work again for picardo forward to the day that I have like a case for my new tablet because fucking hell it gets annoying having to just lay it like flat flat Thank you. 
Bola Carita. But that's the ice only clawed the floor. Ace, not ice. I do there was something we were fucking up. As the ace on the clan of door. As Remember the remember the stress. As the ace on the clan of Good that time. Yes. Though you went on clan instead of on clan. <laughs> you sound so done with my shit. You were the one that that asked us to correct you on your fucking pronunciation. I know. Hey. Who the fuck was that out of nowhere? It is the spirals. Spirals. I need to remind you that we do have a rule when it comes to hopping in a VC. You need to wait oh. for for consent from everyone in the VC. It's all right now. Um, you can stay. Um, yeah, just. I just got very confused because for some reason you are not in my one um scene. So you just popped up and I saw no one. I was like, wait, yeah. that's a new voice. Who is that new voice? Yeah. J just remember that for next time, okay, hon? Okay, why are you not showing up, though? That's weird. Uh, that's because they just left VC. Oh. Okay. Yeah, wait, no. I'm not seeing their PNG, oh, which means that they- Oh, they went to the wait room. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Hey, sorry, Hello. didn't mean to scare you earlier. Yeah, it's all good. Hope you're doing well, though. Uh, who's up for y'all? Today's been doing pretty good. Yee. Also, could I, uh... Could I uh, get your name and pronouns? Alrighty. Noise, noise. Uh, I am on Picardo doing some drawing, and uh, Macbeth over here is on Twitch playing some Spirit Fair. Good question. Is it, uh, May? Is your name spelled like the month? M A Y E. Got it. Because I was wondering if it was M A Y or like M E I. To bring up the brightness on my tablet a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. I just. Now I'm dealing with. Right now, because I don't have a case for it or any way to prop it, um, I'm stuck having it like flat, flat on my desk. So my back does not like me. <laughs> Some point though, more because that is a bit more complicated to say. Problem is, all the books in our uh, house at the moment are the Nick Tears, and they're a bit of a bookworm. And I'm pretty sure if I did something like that to their books. Magnus would not be happy with me. Plus, like like hell would I feel comfortable doing that to, to any copy of The Hobbit? Oh, hell no, you wouldn't touch my fucking Hobbit. 
I just said that as an example. Well, we literally have a copy of The Hobbit that belongs to me. <laughs> yeah, hence why I said it. It's an example. Yeah, I will fight you. <laughs> <laughs> fight me? You would kill me. Oh. I mean, Tater Tots are still kind of a form of hash brown. Just different shape. Yeah. Yeah. Boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Oh! Silver Lilies, hope you're doing well. You have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me, I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the ocean, but you are the spirit bear, and spirit bears find sweet spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one if he is who he thinks he is. Go. Let's sail. Oh, are you at the very beginning? Yeah, because I started to save on our uh, uh, account. Ah. Our streaming account. Remember we made a streaming account? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Neat. Yo! Nice. And I am seriously hoping to finish up with all the sunshine, sunshine stuff soon. I have another three day weekend. So hopefully soon I'll be able to start working on the Nuke Tears stuff so that I can get to your stuff. Yee! I'm already getting out of a burnout with that was induced by stress, so... Oh, believe me, the the nuke tears here that can can tell can tell you how that went down. I should definitely want to check that. It's just been like financial stuff. Like we're doing fine now. Things are a yeah. little tight, but not nearly as bad as things were last year. But just a lot of my burnout was stemming from last year how things had been and how many donathons we had to do or at least how how it felt like we had so many and at least for me especially with all the artistic incentives that i had set i definitely had too much that i was trying to do and it was definitely just generally taking a toll so i'm trying to be a lot better with myself this year while still keeping the promises that I had kept. Thank you, May. Hmm. Oh, uh, the Silver Lily said, Linelda started to do focal feminizations to exercises. And call has been getting closer, uh, closer to passing the exam. Let's go. We 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 love to hear people are. 
We, we, we love to hear folks are getting through education. <laughs> right. I'm currently in the process of being on T, so um, our voice is whatever the fuck it decides to be at any given moment. I would say it depends. I know some trans mass folks. That is a fair point. I know for some trans mass folks, some of us do still do vocal training because for some of us, our voices don't go down as much as we would like. And also for like the case of my voice, like I've been on T for like five years and I still get mammed a lot at my work. Frankly, because I'm also in a conservative state. I, I guess to enough people in conservative US, I sound like a pre- like, either a butch femme or a prepubescent boy. Me neither. That, that that is fair and I, I do appreciate the clarification on that I obviously given the fact that both the dictators and we are AFAB we are going off of our own AFAB experiences As, assign female at birth okay. all good also I just realized my side was not hearing the Discord. So See, I, I, I actually got good so news today. Ah, fuck off, Macbeth. It's it's your namesake. Your namesake is fucking me up. Why do you yeah. think no one in theater says says your fucking name? It's bad luck. Oh hush. <laughs> You know, I have my code name. The only problem is it's our host's name. I know! Fucking um, ironically. Because... They, because they fucking decided, hey, you know what? Let's RP in forums, ask Macbeth! <laughs> and that's how my host got my name, and now I'm an interject in the system. So I have to go by my real name. Dissociation and system hood is fun. <laughs> it doesn't make shit complicated um, I, at all. I took the first steps towards getting getting diagnosed uh, again so I can get um, disability again, hopefully. Let go! Fingers crossed. Yeah. They said it, uh, they said the average time it's taking is four, uh, three to five months, but still that means somewhere around my birthday I might um, get a, get a message back from them. Let's go. Mhm. Mm I've not been like we've not been properly diagnosed currently. We haven't really. It'd be really hard to pursue it in our area, though. Yeah, I was lucky to get the diagnosis that I did when I lived in the Pacific Northwest. 
because here it is so complicated to get any kind of diagnosis, get any kind of therapist, get any kind of like mental health related aid. It pisses me off. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. We're figuring it out, though. I mean, realistically, like, we have all the supports we need with the diagnoses we already have, so it would just be a lot of a headache to pursue diagnosis at this point. Yeah. And not for much of a reward. Yeah, I mean, the everyone has their own reasons on when to get yeah. a diagnosis. So long as it's not coming from a place of like wanting to abuse diagnosis, which I know none of us w would do, but there are definitely some people that do. Yeah. But mm -hmm. that said, like, so long as you're coming from a place of like, I want to do this to help myself, to better myself, and better understand myself. Yeah. There's not really any harm done in the uh, in pursuing a diagnosis, but it also varies on what diagnosis you're trying to get, and you, especially with like, say we're solely focusing on like an autism diagnosis here, also having to weigh in the pros and cons of. How this will affect you because while I've seen some iffy arguments regarding this when it comes to like dissociative disorders autist um, the autistic experience tends to have a lot of discrimination and misunderstandings to where there have been legit countries that bar people of certain diagnoses that being autism from immigrating and even and then with how they treat autistics within their own within their own land is incredibly infantilizing. Looking at you, UK and Australia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we're very much of a kind of like you only have to get diagnosed if it benefits you in some way. Like we don't think it needs to be pushed to get diagnosed if it's something that. Star, um, you don't. Yeah, um, we're very much like if it doesn't benefit in some, you in some way, then I don't think there's a need to get diagnosed. It's like if it's not gonna help you, or if it's has if the odds outweighs the pros, then I don't think it should be pushed for necessarily because there is. As much as we hate it, there is some stigma towards some diagnoses, like yeah. autism and stuff like that. And also, sometimes you just can't find a fucking provider to give you that diagnosis, which is kind of the case for us. Like, I don't even know where we... Because that would require, like, testing that, to be honest, our insurance probably wouldn't want to cover. Like, it would be probably a bite to get tested for, like, dead or dissociative disorders. Right. Well, because, it, especially with, like, like, focusing again on like autism and ADHD, our society sees them as like child's disorders. And so, with that, it's incredibly difficult for an adult to try and get diagnosed later in life. Because of that, when people, when these programs are dedicated to children, and then you have very problematic systems such as ABA which are geared towards assimilating children to the uh, two ideologies that borderline that, that while can be helpful do also have a history of being incredibly ableist traumatizing and gaslighting to autistic children shit just gets complicated all of this to I say is say not to be anti-diagnosis though again diagnoses can be helpful but when we, I don't want any of us to take this as a message of like, oh, so I shouldn't get a diagnosis because diagnosis is bad. I no. get um, extra help because of my autism diagnoses now. Yeah. Like, I get um, at least partially most of my like college expenses are covered by the state because I got an autism diagnosis. 
Um, there's a program that helps specifically those with disabilities, autism being a qualifying disability, same thing with ADHD. Um, and I think also, it might have been a combo of the fact that I have autism, ADHD, and depression, but those were enough to disable me enough to be considered qualified for the program. Yeah. The, um, thing I was gonna say was, uh, um, back, um, before DID uh, and all that was a thing, the original term for 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 that um was well, multiple personality those, yeah and that literally was like a death sentence like in many places and so much so that a lot of therapists would like my including my therapist actively were like look we can pursue getting this for you you clearly have it are you sure you want to be officially diagnosed with this because here's what can happen yeah. Unfortunately. Anyway, Mari, um, what was amazing? Because, yeah, unfortunately, how how DID and dissociative disorders bef- are, were perceived before still harkens, still, still impacts how it's perceived today. Like, a lot of, when people, t- when, when layman folks tend to think of DID or multiple personality or dissociation, they tend to think of Sybil. The uh, the one individual who had worked with her therapist to create a biography and yet was later said to have faked having dis- that having a dissociative disorder, saying in interviews that her dissociation was faked. Now, just for the just humor me with this. Well, that's amazing, Star. J- j- just humor me with this real quick. Given the the very apparent possibility of say alters that may sabotage a system or may sabotage a people, and even then, given the fact that Sybil was monolithed during the seven during the sixties and seventies is claiming that they had faked, potentially as a means to get the spotlight off of them, not, like, not out of actually faking, but to get out of the limelight that they were forced into, not a possibility? Because even then, with Sybil, what we know of Sybil, like, the the cancellation of Sybil is not the first time that we've seen any controversy related to dissociative disorders. There was also a body called Eve from, I believe, before the times of Sybil that was that was also affected by like post-World War II American psychology, which that had its very own culture and niche that was supposedly impacted by women going to their therapists because of the lack of connection that they could have with their partners. So uh, we also have to like question when we're talking about like Sybil, Eve and all of that <coughs> could like could this have been in relation to an over-reliance and over-assumption of the abilities of a therapist by their clients or flipping or flipping the script? Did therapists under or overestimate uh, their clients in regards to understanding themselves? After a very prominent world war. What's Sybil? Sybil, uh, so Sybil was the name of the uh, body that during the uh, 60s had worked with her therapist to write a biography on herself and her system. Uh However, at some point, um, Sybil had suddenly said that all the experiences that she and her therapist had documented were faked, that she lied to her therapist, yada, yada, yada. My biggest question that I, that I want to bring up just for a bit of discussion, given the possibility and my own experience of seeing systems suddenly go, oh, we're faking, bye, 
not out of actually faking, but more to get the limelight off of them. Could it not have been a possibility that, that Sybil and her system, if she truly was a system, had done the same? Regardless of that, though, her, clay, her saying that she had faked her, her disability still has massive ramifications on how DID is perceived today. Because when a lot of people think of dissociation, they don't really think of actual experiences. They think of, say, Trisha Paytas. They think of a lot of the... And they, they think of Trisha Paytas. They think of younger generations and like the, the sensationalization, the fetishization of disability without truly understanding what dissociation means as a disability. Uh, oh, thank you for the knobs. I don't really have anything to knob on right now. I will get something in a bit. <laughs> uh, but I think everyone's stuck in panic right now, so... <laughs> I kind of feel bad because I've just been I've just been going off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is a conversation you said almost word for word several times before. Meow. On stream. But it's still an important discussion. I At least to me. Your stream, your rules. Yeah. I was gonna say, I didn't say it wasn't. I just said, you said it multiple times before. You just sound like. You, you, you sound like the equivalent of the fucking Monty Python. Get on with it! <laughs> ADHD is hell. I'm a hard time sitting still. Especially for something that is not new. I tried. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. <laughs> uh, thank you for the noms. Um, I will grab some to mom on here in a bit. Um, but Mari, um, were you having like a special event, or did this just happen by chance? Wait, what happened? Um, I guess she had four raids, three back to back, and peaked at twenty-five viewers. Yo, let's go. Oh yeah, and Good also, job. we just reached a hundred followers. Woohoo! Now hundred finals. All the goals. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. <laughs> just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you can help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. It is really hard to read when you're high. <laughs> With cooking, fishing, and building, I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just get go to your belt. Hey, three. I'm getting everyone here today. Yeah. It's been a hot fucking minute. How you doing? My reactions to what? Um, actually, we can probably remove the. Please make it invisible. Okay. Oh, thank you for the subscription, legal. Legal. Hey, everyone. What was that, me? I said, stay safe, everyone. Yee. We will. 
Oh my god! What? What just happened? I still can't get over your reactions. I said, uh, what reactions to Selene and I? I, I I love how your status on Discord because I fucking said it is fucking DILF by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta go steal road. Get in my chat, damn it. Um, I mean, if we're talking about this right now, we found out about it a few days ago and just, um, Dree and Selene find but, uh, our system's reaction hilarious. <laughs> Mostly because we called Selene a, a low-key male. Low-key? Yes. Low-key! I was trying to be polite! <laughs> For some reason, low-key male sounded better than saying she was a male. No, she is a MILF. Want to know why? Because she's a mother! But... Also, we're respectful. <laughs> <laughs> like... It's low-key. How do I explain this? It feels like objectifying? Yes. Yeah. I kind of get that. I, I always said it to her in jest. Honestly, that's why I also said the dope by proxy to tree completely choking. Yeah. The dope by proxy. Yes, that was right. I knew I I remember Tree saying that he is a dumb. What I was shocked from was the fact that he was doming Celine. <laughs> I was more shocked by that in particular. <laughs> Also, I love how the captions fucking mistook Selene as Saline. That that is gonna be the official knockoff. Like, if there's ever going to be a knockoff Selene, it's Saline. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> this boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. 
Get ready for a family reunion. I have no idea how to do a croaky voice, so I'm just sticking to it. to see with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. I will! Now I got you, Sprout. I just got this boat, damn it! Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onward. Wait a second. Is that a... Wait, what? I am so confused. Hello? Story demanded I get into the water and collect the freaking bullocks, and I just started automatically doing it like I'm, like I'm her little bitch. <laughs> oh my god. We have too many fucking submissives in this system. Ha! <laughs> You're not our fucking dumb star. <laughs> I don't know. She's pretty damn close. Oh, you little cheeky bastard. Also, apparently my keyboard was activated and made me strip. Let's fix that. Here we go. Yeah, you, you, you good? Hey, hello? To be fair, Mari, I'm pretty sure you can probably get Scarlet to do a lot. Yeah. She's our lesbian with a penchant for cuties. Sorry, I'm just checking stuff. ADHD go burr. Scarlet or Serenity? Because that's more of a Serenity thing to do. I knew it! That's a Seamaster 2000! I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Serenity. Scarlet is our resident lesbian with a penchant for cuties. <laughs> Which Serenity is in co with me right now. You just threw me off with Scarlet because Scarlet's are one of our cute dolls. heard the rumors. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few poles. Let me guess. You've been fishing out most of the garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan.
They never stood a chance. You, you sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me, I have this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried. But yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Actually, it would probably look better if the... Only one way to find out. Yeah, we'll see. Shrine and Hummingbird? I try and add them there. If we're lucky, it might be do something amazing. If not, you'll have waste of your time. You should go see. Stella, quick, come here. This is what I call a storm. Any respectful person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. I think you should try. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush toward them. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? You're hit by lightning with an empty bottle. You get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world, lightnings and bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush. You look pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have ever hoped for. Your uncle is such a sweetheart. Thank you. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I might have to redo the highlights. Because I don't have the color anymore! That's gonna be something I'll have to fix at a later point. Just fucking hell. I didn't disconnect my nap first, but then it hit me. I'm starving. I'm sorry, Stella. I know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. Oh, let me... Thanks, I love it. Have the game audio. Up just a little bit so we can listen to that. And let's turn off my audio. By the way, how's stream quality for us? I know we aren't getting drop frames by Nar bits or kind of shit. You want to know the reason why, um, your, um, frames might have kept, uh, fluctuating before? Why? It was because you had your computer in game mode. I realized that when I had messed around with Baldur's Gate, um, I had to put it in game mode in order for, like, the opening cinematic and whatnot to be stable. Uh-huh. But, when I kept game mode while trying to have OBS and whatnot, OBS does not like game mode. Uh... Yeah. Well, I still don't get, like, that great, like, K kilobytes per second. It, it might also be partly due to the fact that you're on laptop and with me being on desktop desktops are more durable and more open to experimentation with with stuff you made it wicked moves getting up here i kind of lied earlier it's not so great up here but you're here so it might get better I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. <laughs> I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. Yeah. What? Hope everyone's been doing well, oh. by the way. You gave me such a fright. That cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events! And is that your boat over there at sea? You can't come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. We have some lessons to go through. No shit. Oh, fuck you. When and where? Oh, my. Don't pull that fucking George Takei shit with me. What? Who the you... fuck is George 
the namesake of Hikaru Sulu from Star Trek The Next Generation, the very person who pulled the- oh my. Um, excuse me? Oh my. It's a Star Trek meme from a very prominent LGBT individual who also survived concentration camps in World War II as a Japanese American. Yeah, he's been through some shit. He was not even four years old when he and his family were put in concentration camps in World War II. Meow. Wait, you had a concentration camp. Okay. Yes. I, I just, my brain got so confused. This is your world shit. Sorry, <laughs> Macbeth. fucking old ass memories. I am so sorry, Macbeth. This just means we have to get you into Star Trek. Oh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Snack. Snack. This is silly snack. snack. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Now about the garden. Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It will be called Caring for Plants from A to Zalia. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't ring as good once said out loud. Maybe I need some work on the name some more. But Beth, do you want to see how the braid is coming along? You want to see how the braid is coming along on here? Sure, give me a Never done what? Oh, in the game? Uh-huh. So even on your own file, you haven't even gotten past the prologue. No, we've just never sat in the chair on accident. We didn't know you could. Ah. Uh -huh. Also, let me update the pronouns. But yes, we got through the prologue in our first our personal save. Okay. I just read it. There we go. There we go. Oof. Oof. Look it at that. Real creaky, and I don't know why. <laughs> but look at the braid. Yeah, nice. It's gonna Let's be a bitch getting all the flowers in. <laughs> Oh, you laugh! You're the one who designed her! I keep telling you you're extra bitch. Meh. No, Macbeth, you haven't seen these flowers. 
Yes. You've if, shown us. Look, y'all don't always share. Y'all don't always share a memory, so I didn't want to assume. Okay, fair. But you are extra. Oh, yeah. At least it's just the one sunflower at the crown. But then it's predominantly roses, peonies. Uh, uh I think, yeah, there's baby's breath and a few others. Okay. See, oh, Call has been coming up with a design for an RPG video game that he's going to make because of being inspired by a streamer. Hell yeah. Let's go. There we You know one of the most unrealistic things is always getting up on time. E. Yeah. I will be right back. Super duper quick. I will let people look in the corner to see your game. Aesthetic is making me sleepy.
You know what sounds good right now? Hot chocolate. You want me to make some hot cocoa for us? Yes, please. <laughs> See, he wants to make it multi-choice RPG, so there could be different endings. Oh, that's going to be complicated. You're going to have to figure out how you want to do that. Because if you go through the levels of, like, say, Baldur's Gate or Mass Effect, that is going to take a long time. For what? A multi-choice RPG. Ooh, yeah. Like, shit, that, whoo, that's going to be an undertaking and a half. He knows. Noise. We've fucked around with, um, like, even just, like, sprite work before. And that gets, whew, that gets time-consuming very, very quickly. Just imagining the coding and trying to make sure that, like, the coding works together with the assets and making sure that everything is copacetic oh no 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 i i am good i i will just be in the corner here making fun art and making fun music If you're still there, and if you're on a computer, alert would be appreciated. Yeah, uh, yeah, cause they are, they are doing things on the Twitch. Which, you know what? Also, boom. <laughs> I should change that sometime. What do you want to change it to? I don't know. Good question. The jellyfish are stealing all the light, and they've stolen all hope from me. I'll never get used to it, and a part of me makes me think it's all my fault. Alright, you can do your thing again. Are you up for it? Don't be scared, Stella. Don't be coming straight. See, there is a game in early access on Steam called Heartbound that's made by the streamers indie group. Oh! Oh, I know what Heartbound is! Oh my god, I fucking love his content. Apparently that's the inspiration? Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, I wanna- Oh, I've been meaning to fucking get that game to play on stream, actually. What is Heartbound? Um... I sent you um, some links from the person who makes it, actually. It sounds like, to be honest, it sounds like an Earthbound ROM hack. I can't remember what the game was about exactly, uh, but the creator of it, I sent you some links he made uh, for like people starting out with like game development stuff to send a top hack. Oh, okay. Remember when I sent that stuff to you? Yes. And then I told you to send it to him directly. Yes. I did. Yeah, he is called Thor. You know, the music during 
like the that that's not as no, during the swarm is serene but still kind of unsettling and I love it the sound design for for spirit fair I adore And he does let's see and he does it as a side thing oh he does ferret ferret rescue as a side yep yeah because i sent you i've also sent you the it's called like ferret software on twitch um one of us sent it to you i can't remember who was out was freaking the fuck out because they're cute ferrets ferrets are adorable though but we were at work like messaging you and sending you and just like gushing about the ferrets <laughs> I can't remember who was out at the time, but one of us, I remember we, us doing that. The sun, the sea, the sky, the breeze on my skin, it just feels so right. Happy to be aboard the ship with you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now. Running your own ship, helping out these stranded souls, it really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on the island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. I just remembered a thing. Before, um... Before I had realized that, like, the system was a thing, um... There were points to where Kagi would, like, be in forums or play D&D for folks to try and have a bit of an outlet. And there was one point when he was in a D&D &D campaign that when he had returned home, his family that was waiting for him also had, like, a herd of ferrets. <laughs> and I don't remember what he named the ferrets. But they were all several different types of, like, different, um, coat types. I think one of them was named, like, Oddball. Yes, one of them was named Oddball.
Yeah, Kala. Oh. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start on the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. Let's see now. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. The wor this world has some strange rules, as you probably noticed already. Always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For you, you see, for you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. And I expected they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your cross. I hate how picky this thing gets sometimes. There we go. Give me just the perfect color. You don't have to do that for too long. You can, um, make yourself fail if you want if you get if you feel like you've gone on long enough swayed and grew as you entertained them. Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. They might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. I just thought of a thing. 
Do obel and obelisk come from the same word? I don't think so. You'd have to look it up, though. Oh, are you getting tired? change the color of this once I have all the parts down. You did got it. Now we've got a real boat going. We all take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point. 
That would be terribly rude of me to say anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks, I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake and of menacing reeds and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming for, from our mutual acquaintance. With looking at the map in your cabin, my eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonder to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Mm -hmm. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. I love how the cat does a little ball thing he's trying to keep out of the water. <laughs> so adorable. It's a perfect yeah, Daffodil doesn't like water. My stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? I mean, you found my weak, sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to a dessert. A delightful, sugary perfection. Thank you very much.
Also, notice how Daffodil is singing. Oh my god, that's adorable! You didn't notice that Daffodil was singing? No! Oh my god, that's even fucking cuter! <laughs> You're singing, kitty! Took a look at your blue blueprints station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would make it even braver? More plans, bigger buildings, better pencils. I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert Shipyard could help you out. That's why I'm at there. So, what got you into Spirit Fair? Outside of the fact that it was on my Switch and you decided to fuck around with it. Uh. Literally, you and Bunny recommended it for Serenity. Yeah! And he said it was like super cute to you and seemed like something she'd like. Yes. And were we right? Yes. Spirit bearer, happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You could say I'm a sort of wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things, objects, curios, tchotchkes. I'll, I'll buy just about everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do, actually.
It is on. It is getting close to midnight. Do you hear it now? No, I always heard it. I just never realized that was the little kitty. Are you forgetting the buttons?
eyeball. <laughs> Do it. Get him. Believe the drummer. I see how it is. Get him. Oh, and you joined the oh. team. No. Drake. Yeah, I've only been here for like five minutes. Wait, what? Wait, what? Sure felt like it anyways. Are you zooted? I mean... Do you remember when the cricket sound played? Yes. Yeah, I was there like at least a minute before that. <laughs> and it was oh, me. that was a minute ago. That, that was a good bit ago. <laughs> yeah. And that was also me. Yeah. Don't whoop me, bitch. I'm whooping you. <laughs> Sit your ass down. something interesting what i can't play vampire survivors when i'm in this state oh what makes you say that i just lose focus <laughs> but then i also found out i can't play shooting games but you want to know what i have the brain power for what cyberpunk Puzzles. Puzzles? I'm puzzles. not even joking. I'm not even joking. I was actually chilling with the puzzle game right now. Well, damn. Oh, yeah. And I was actually winning. I was solving shit. I think I had amnesia because I forgot I'm him. Yes, that's a Dracula flow reference. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, how has stream been treating you? I mean, both of us are streaming right now. Yeah. Pretty well. It's been pretty chill night. Yeah. We reached a hundred followers um, the other day. Oh yeah, I saw that. I was in with the David Deathstream. Mm -hmm. That's so dope. Can you give me a solid? And do you want to explain to me why you are calling me a nerd ass, Drake? Calling you a what? A nerd ass. Because you are one. Just, see, someone gets it. Components. Oh no, Drake! You don't know what I've been doing no, I, lately. I, know I don't know. I I, I don't want to know. It's fine. Are, are you sure you don't want to know? I mean, I want to know. I'm just saying for comedic effect, I okay. want to know. That being said, I've been working on a on a like a con lane script for the Vitoras. Oh. Technically three. Nice. Yeah. 
Bam. And I worked on the bulk of it while I was at work today. I used to. It's been busy. I have. Busy bitch. I like how I went to your Twitch just to redeem water. Water. Take a drink. <laughs> that hasn't come through on my end yet. Fish. Wait, did you redeem no, no, it on... On Rhodes. I'm on Picardo, buddy. I'm aware of that. That's why I'm letting you know. <laughs> my God. You question my motives of calling you a nerd ass bitch. <laughs> well, <laughs> omit the last word, but it was implied. <laughs> so I went to your Twitch to make you drink water. <laughs> Is Tree being a uh, bad influence? Are you just random screaming now? Yes. Hey, Mari. Yeah, freaking earlier. We were up. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can't working. remember what was. It was before they were going to work. Oh. Uh, but. Yeah, one of the few times that we woke up early. Yeah. But. Freaking. That's why I made the move. Oh. Uh, Mal, like an absolute fucking stoner. I think Kagi said something to Mal akin to, like, oh. Kagi had said, your breath smells like weed. <laughs> I think Mal called it his favorite scent. Yes. So, yes. That's amusing. Oh, we knew someone, um, mid-dated them. Dude was a fucking bloodhound for the scent of weed. Even the slightest hint of it, you could tell by his face that he just smelled weed. Like, even just a tiny hint of weed. And he was like a fucking bloodhound, like, I smell weed. Contraband. <laughs> Contraband detected. <laughs> Must <German> smoke. Because <laughs> he was the reason he was able to do it because he was an absolute stoner. But yeah, it was fucking hilarious. That's insane. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we talk about how goofy that frog dude was though? Like, he didn't even have like an actual animation. It just looked like he was getting that weird filter where they just kind of like zoom in in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> like zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. And this is gonna represent him croaking. It's amazing and that frogs can croak all the time, but when a human does it, that's it. 
Full stop. <laughs> Upgrade your boat. Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some bolts loose. It's probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, mama. That did more than I thought. Let's see here. Whoa, this boat got some advanced options now. First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. When you're using your map, you just need to toggle on safe travel mode. It's that simple. And don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select the destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. You can set your course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Well, have fun. Yay. Boat has more storage. <clears throat> Bye, shrimp. <laughs> Message in a bottle. For what? Suddenly, you have up to nine viewers. So, well, look at you. Hey, let's go. Hold on, let me check to see if there was a raid or something recently. My raid stuff hasn't went off. I then it just must be. You, then it just must be that you have a nice vibe. Hell yeah. Not doing order for once, I guess. A, some people do like horror. Okay. I was about to say, if you're putting yourself down, bitch, I, I, I will smack you. I'd pay for that. What, you pay to see us get smacked? Yeah. 
Wait, what? Remember for the incentives. We need. I still need to make plenty of hours. But and there's a few things that you need to make as well. Yeah, the account to play the game. Yep, to, to play the one game. The one that he Twitch wouldn't like. He just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not crab. Could be anything in there. A tiny ship, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. You want to make us hot chocolate? Yes, I can. <laughs> if you want to wait, I can wait. Yeah, because I think I'm about to arrive at the dragon. Okay. Yeah. So, Drake, what have you been up to? I uh, just been chilling. You just, just been, been chilling. Out here. Yeah. E. It's been raining out here. It's been what now? Raining. Oof. Yeah, I've had to wake up a little earlier so we can leave earlier. Oh. Annoying. Yeah. I just kind of realized a thing. Huh. These aren't like the official colors for Sunshine's uh, shirt by any means, but because of the color choice, uh -huh. it almost looks like a Femme Coggy. Oh my god. That was y'all's choice. Now I need to figure it out. I thought that might be it. The dragon. I guess it is inevitable that it would be here. Following me always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they are intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Oh, 
Oh, looks to the right. looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it, however I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Why does this always happen? Hey, I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Oops. There we go. Ooh. 
look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. The, the quack? <laughs> yes. Judging from that chuckle, I'm assuming yes. Yeah, I think... I think I gotta go to bed. <laughs> you gotta go to bed? Yes. Well then, go to bed. No one's stopping you. Oh, because I called you Q. Yeah. Oh. And stay up, cutie. Man, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn this reverse psychology. Alright, later. Have a good one. Have a good one.
I think I'm getting to a point to where I am satisfied for now on progress. So I may end it soonish. That's a lot better without it being like pure black. Oh, why won't it let me redo?
notice that I've been very tired recently. I'm afraid to say that, so I'm doing it on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the game, palace as well, the Abuda is might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously. And then we could continue our lesson. But nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. Lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stone. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella, deeply. Oof. You know what I think? Without having to worry about her fucking flowers, which I'll probably do just off stream in general. I think just one more pass, like one more stream of working on sunshine and then her PNG should be good. I can use the time in between to like tweak some of the colors and making sure that they are like absolutely like perfect with each other. But yeah, I think with that though, this will be where I'm going to cut it for tonight. But I am super happy and excited with how she's come out so far. And I'm really looking forward to when uh, Sunshine can finally debut. Because I know Sunshine IRL. She is an absolute sweetheart. She is an absolute mama bear. In the best of ways. So yeah, I think with that, I will have that be my time uh, to end. Since we are doing stuff on Picardo, obviously we can't raid out to anybody or, any or anything like that. But... Y'all know that uh, the Nuxiers are streaming currently, playing some Spirit Fair. Uh, be sure to give them some support. We also have our collaborative Discord server if you want to join in. Do know that like our streams, uh, our community is 18 plus. We are LGBTQIA2 Spirit Plus, Neurodivergent, Disability, and Mental Health Forward. And we also do our best to uplift and advocate for BIPOC uh, voices and the, especially regarding pushing and respecting their own experiences. Um, yeah. Oh, it's too short. It's too long of a message and so the link got cut. I'll have to fix that. But if you guys want to support me financially, there's a few ways that you can do that. Not only can you check out my uh, Kofi, oh that doesn't work. Not only can you check out my Kofi for uh, for giving donations or for commissions, which are closed at the moment while I finish up my Donathon incentive queue, but you can also check out my throne where there's a few items that I have been eyeing. If you want to support me to help me get those, while money is a little, just a little tight. That said, do know that while this is the end of stream, this is not the end of our time together as the road to dusk will always be open for another adventure. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. Please have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say. Bye bye